In this video, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, some I'm just going to show you the basics of the two x or two times client. Um, to this is basically how you log into the remote desktop. This is the app that you use to do that. Um, so it's located here. You just click on that, and then you just click on that, and all of your user information should already be set up. Um, I see this information was left here from yesterday. I'm just going to close that. Okay. Um, please note that your screen has to be um, horizontal to view it. You can do it vertically as well. It's just more difficult to type. So I set as the default. Um, I set every iPad um, display default at horizontal to make things easier for you guys. Um, but as soon as you hit that initial button, um, when you're logged in, you should just be brought to um, your desktop and um, for the most part the only thing that should be on your desktop um, this this is gonna vary um, at this point in time but ultimately the goal is for your desktop to only have basically Outlook uh, your daily report form the accident report form and uh, field ease um, there will be uh, also, and, and whatever job that you work for, work on, um, the job folder that contains the plans and submittals and every other um, type of document that's associated with the job that you work for, but that's it. No other jobs, um, no files associated with anything else. You, you won't have access to anything other than that. Um, and also, there's a link to computeries, but um, you won't be using that, so it won't allow you to work if you try. But um, for now, I'm just going to show you how to use the remote desktop using uh, the 2x client on your iPad. Uh, first, I'll go over um, just basically if you want to disconnect, you can, like a normal, on a normal laptop, you can just hit start, then log off. I'm not going to do that though. You can use your finger to drag and drop or to open files to click, to double click but I think it's a lot more helpful to use the mouse that they have provided here. Um, it just allows you a more direct and accurate, you know, pressing of whatever you're trying to do. Um, at first it might seem a little awkward because you're not used to using this, but I promise that after you use this for a couple of days, just practice, you'll get used to it and it'll it'll be like normalcy to you in no time. So um, I, I find it easiest to, to use this along with zooming in and out and you know you can click, that's how you do that, or you can double click. Um, so basically wherever that mouse icon is, that is where the mouse is, that's what the mouse is going to select. Um, in order to drag a file, for example, you're going to hold your finger on this button and when it turns blue that indicates that you're actually holding the file and then you move it to where you want to go. So for example, if I want to drag and move this RFP file just somewhere, I'm going to hold the mouse over it. I'm going to hold this down and you can see that it turns blue and then I'm going to move it and then let go. And You can see that it's been moved. So I'm going to move it back and that's how you drag and drop a file um, and so that's how you do that. Now you see this little plus here that doesn't make a difference if you open that up um, it gives you some more options this icon here it's a uh, right click this little keyboard icon brings up the keyboard and this little uh, box with a minus inside it just gets rid of the option to do that so um, if you say if you want to copy the file you would right click on it you can copy it, you can cut it, you can send to if you want to. This is a, an easy way. If you have a file you, you can and you want to email it, you can just do send to mail recipient. And if you click that, for example, it should open Outlook and it'll open the email with a file already attached and then you can go in there and type whatever. So if I want to do type it to somebody, 
I'm already there selected. Um, there's a keyboard icon down here as well where you can pull up the keyboard so you can select it either there or there. And there's your keyboard. And I say I want to send it to me, for example, and Dawson. And if you click down here, that's where it gives you to the symbols and numbers at. And you hit return or you hit done. You're done typing. The file is already attached there. You can change things here. Um, also, say I want it to attach something else. Um, for some reason, it's not giving me the option. For up here, there's an attach file option. It's not giving me that. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's the type of message or something, but I'll, I'll give you another example. Um, but basically, that's how you type. You can right click. I'm going to cancel this out. I don't want to send this. No? See, I can just use my finger to click instead of using the mouse. Um, I mean, that, that's the basic functions of how you use this. If you want to disconnect, you can also click this. There's a little uh, symbol in the far right hand corner, you just click it and you hit disconnect and you're disconnected from the remote desktop. So uh, I'm going to continue a little further and get into uh, detail of some other things that you can do shortly.